Good morning, everybody. This is breakfast time again. Happy New Week and a Merry Christmas to you all and a prosperous New Year in advance. Yes, my name is Avicii Adesuwai Gori by the sure mercy of the Lord. I am the host of Breakfast Time, a.k.a. BFT, and it has been running for over five years now, and God has been faithful. To all our first-timer, a big compliment of the season, and welcome to this wonderful channel where we share God's word in diverse form. Through world songs, drama, as the Lord we inspire our hearts, and all the Breakfast family, God bless you, we good in Jesus' name. I know you are having a wonderful time with your various family. Yes, I celebrate Jesus with you. Christ is the reason for the season. So therefore, I am super excited. Can you just tell yourself, I am beautiful or I am handsome at the expense of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. I want to quickly apologize. For last week, I was unable to come up with a breakfast time due to some certain situation beyond my control. But I know we were blessed by that wonderful ministration by evangelist dr bumia king Pelu. thank you so much ma god bless you for that powerful ministration so very excited knowing that this is the last monday and we're going to be rounding up a wonderful topic integrity that the lord has placed in my heart in this wonderful month so to be rounding this topic with us we have god's servant uh reverend dr Faith Agwebo, the senior pastor Church of God Bishop Nagoya, Japan. So he's going to be bringing the word to us today. And I pray as we listen that the word will take root and be a fruit in us in Jesus' awesome name. So with Jesus' joy, I want you to put those hands together. Let's receive Dr. Reverend Dr. Faith. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation. God bless you. Over to you, sir. Hallelujah. Hello, good morning, good morning, God bless you, God bless you, you are welcome to breakfast time. My names are Reverend Dr. Faith Brana Gwebo, and by God's grace, the Senior Pastor, Church of God Mission, right here in the city of Nagoya, Ishazun, Japan. Once again, I welcome you to this breakfast, breakfast morning, and I thank God for your life, for hooking up to this wonderful segment. Let's pray, Lord, thank you, Father, for this uh, glorious time with you. We ask, O oh God, that your name be glorified and be magnified. Lord, speak to our spirit, soul, and body. Lord, let your word, O oh God, meet us at the very point of our need right now. Let your word, O oh God, gain an entrance in our heart. Give me the voice of the prudent and the tongue of the learned to declare the immutability of your counsel. Lord, we ask, O oh God, at your word, let the barren womb be open for fruitfulness. We decree, O oh God, let there be productivity at your word. Let your seed be saved at your word, O oh God. Let anything dead or dying in someone's life come back to life. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. By God's grace, this morning we are looking at the word integrity. Integrity. Uh, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 9. Proverbs 10, verse 9. The Bible says, Whoever walks in integrity walks securely but he who makes his way crooked will be found out whoever walks in his integrity walks securely it means there is nothing to fear you fear no fear because there's a saying that said clear conscience fear no accusation you know uh, so you fear no fear because why integrity has to do with your character that is in alignment with godly values Take note of that. Integrity has to do with your character that is in alignment with godly values. So because of those your godly values and that has been able to intertwine with your character, you have no you have nothing to fear, both in life, both in dark places or in the in, in the place that is open, you know. And the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 28, verse 6, talking about a poor man with his integrity. You know, that work with integrity is better than a rich man that is crooked or that is a crook. You know, so integrity is so important. You hear me? You hear me? Integrity is not what you proclaim. Please take note of that. Integrity is not what you proclaim. It's not what you say you have, but what others sees and says about you. 
Integrity is not what you proclaim. Integrity is not what you say you, you have. It is what others see and say about you. You know, that is what is called integrity. What is integrity? Integrity is the quality of being honest and having a strong moral principle. Integrity is the quality of being honest and having a strong moral principles. Number two, what is integrity? Integrity is the ability to reject compromise against your moral principles for anything or for a price. For anything or for a price. That is number two definition of integrity. Integrity is the ability to reject compromise against your moral principles for anything or for a price. That is what we saw in the life of Joseph. In Joseph had he came into the house of Potiphar with his integrity intact. And he said, Look, I'd rather die than to commit an adultery with this woman. I'd rather go to jail. I'd rather be accused falsely than to sin against God and betray my master. That was a life of integrity. And that is what it looks as if it's far from us today in the Christendom. You know, whereby we don't say what we mean and we don't mean what we say. A lot of people in the body of Christ today is missing out with the issue of integrity. One of the greatest challenges we have in this, in this end time, uh, the end time church today, is people who are following Christ without integrity. People are into relationship without integrity. People enter business with other believers without integrity. People, you know, you know, walk with you without integrity. People walk with God without integrity. And let me tell you, like I said before, integrity is that is your character that is in alignment with godly principles, godly virtues. You know, so please take note of that. Number three, what is integrity? Integrity is your strong conviction on something you know is right. Your strong conviction on something you know is right. And I pray for you today that as you go into the new year and as you wrap up this year by the special grace of God, may God make you that man or the woman that we enter into 2023 with a brand new heart of integrity, with a brand new mind of integrity, because your charisma can take you to the top. It will take your character to sustain you. Never forget that. Charisma can take you to the top, but it will only take character to sustain you there. Beauty with, with that character is a, a amount to charismatic affliction. Is equals to charismatic affliction. Beauty with that character amount to you know confusion. So you need your character to be in alignment with the godly virtue, godly principles that God has laid out, you know, for us. Amen. So the society today is craving, is yearning for men and women of integrity. You know that they can move it and deal with you know a lot of people are even some of the character we see today are making people to backslide because of lack of integrity may you not cause others to stumble because of bad character in jesus name what are the keys to a life of integrity number one the keys to a life of integrity number one develop the mind of christ through his word develop the mind of jesus through his word. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. He said, let this man be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So you need to develop the mind of Christ through his word. Be addicted to his word. Eat his word. Swallow his word. Let his word become your daily food. And as you, as you eat the word, feast on his word, it will, it will begin to mortify your character and begin to modify them. It will mortify them and modify and modify it and set you into a life of integrity. Number two, what are the keys to a life of integrity? Watch out for the kind of companies you keep. Watch out for the kind of companies 
you keep. First Corinthians chapter 15, 33. Do not be deceived. Bad communication corrupt good character. Bad communication corrupts good character. Watch out for the company you keep. You may not be you may not be doing what they are doing, but as you be, continue to interwine with them, continue to interact with them and go with them and align some of their lifestyle to begin to influence you, then you are on your way to lack of integrity. So watch the company you keep, not just the company you keep, the, the, the kind of things you hear and what you look upon and the things you read. You know, be very, very careful because salvation cost the life of our Lord and Savior to bring you to God. It costs his life. So you must be very careful of the company you keep and the things you hear and where you go. First Corinthians 15, 33. And I want to believe that this word of God has come to you direct. I want to believe God that by the time you enter into 2023, you are a brand new person. God will begin to make you and use you as a reference point to others, you know, to begin to learn from. He said, have you considered my servant Job? I know Abraham. I know him. He will teach his children after me. It was talking about a life of eternity. I know him. And I'm, I'm praying for you that God will look from heaven and say, I know you. He will mention my, your name. I know you that you will do this because you are be steadfast, you are be up, upright, and you are follow suit and focus on Christ without wavering. Until I come your way once again, I remain yours. Stay blessed. Don't forget, Jesus loves you, so do I. God bless you. Merry Christmas and a very wonderful Happy New Year in advance. Bye. Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Indeed, I am truly blessed by that ministration. He said the church lacks people of integrity. The society lacks people of integrity. I remember when we started, I said, you know, when you do something of integrity, people are wondering because it's so strange. I remember when I shared about experience, how we saw a credit card. The first thing that the police, when we, myself and my husband, we gave them the, the credit card. They looked at us. I think in one of the, uh, the, the, the video I did, they looked at us and looked at the kind of card that we brought to them and they were asking us, where are we from? Why would people be surprised to see a kind act, to see an act of honesty? Because we are integrity scarce. And as we are going into a new year, he has admonished us that we should be people of integrity. And I pray God will help us all to be a good ambassador in the name of Jesus. When Jesus was saying, go into the world and multiply, he was not saying multiply evil, multiply men and women that are born after my image and likeness. And I pray God will help us in 2023, there shall be a multiplication of men and women of integrity in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you in Jesus' name. Our breakfast, brethren, before I let you go, in 2023, as the Lord will be bringing us into 2023, by the grace of God, January 2nd, our opera for mercy kicks off. It's a, a midnight prayer and I'm inviting you to join us. 11.55 will be streaming to the Facebook. 11.55 uh, p.m. in the night. It's just one hour for 30 nights. In January 2022, we did Opral for salvation of soul. And this year, by the grace of God, we are going to be crying for mercy. And you will see in the Bible that everyone that got one thing or the other from the Lord, got it at the table of mercy and quickly i want to also say uh, a shop for free was a huge success the lord honored me beyond my expectation and i want to give him all the glory for everyone who he used to make it a reality and our correspondence i will be giving you details as the week by the grace of god before the year runs out i'm going to do a short clip to share amazing testimony with us what jesus did for us and he's still doing it and jesus told me in this world, they say more are still coming, and I trust the Lord for more. I want to say thank you. God bless you all. Please do have a prosperous new year. Until I come your way again, I remain Vichy at this way. The breakfast toast.